Hello everybody, my name is Marlo and welcome back once again to my Custom Villager Houses tutorial series where we are building a house for each and every one of the Minecraft Villager professions. We are now halfway through this mini series, we've already done six houses and once we've got this one done we will have six more to go so if you don't want to miss out on the rest of those builds please feel free to subscribe. All of these houses are from my survival series where we are making a custom village and the original concept of this series right here came from Mythical Sausage. As always, both my playlist and his are going to be down in the description for you to check out. So far we have done the cleric, weaponsmith, fisherman, cartographer, shepherd and butcher houses, but today we are building a home for the leather worker. Once again, here is your materials list for the build itself. I probably don't need to go through these with you anymore, but I will just mention it as I always do in each of these episodes. You're gonna need some flowers to go on top of your grass block and your flower pot. Also grab two pieces of leather or something else that a leather worker might use to go inside of these item frames, as well as a bucket of water to fill up the cauldron. The leather worker's house roughly takes up a 13 by 13 area and the first thing we can do is place down our strip spruce logs as we always do in this mini series it seems but the first one can go in the center block right there and just for a reference point this block will be where the spruce door goes just so you can figure out direction of this build but we're going to leave a gap of three either side of this middle log and place one more on both of those. Swing round to both of the sides here and leave a gap of one, two, three, four, and five, and place another block there. Of course, we'll do the same round this side too. And then we're gonna come in and line ourselves up with the middle block, but instead of being in line with these, we're actually gonna come over ever so slightly outwards. So your pillars should be looking like this. These two center blocks can be brought up by one, two, three, and four more for a total of five. Same again round here. And the rest of these pillars can be brought up by a total of four. So that's one, two, three, already on the bottom one. And you should be left with something looking like this. Except, as I said, these two pillars should be five, not six, as I've just done there. So we should be looking like that instead, I should say. But let's add in the roof now. So starting around the front of the house, this is nice and simple, but follow along with me here. We'll have two upside down spruce stairs on the top part of those pillars with one stair coming out the back. We'll then grab our spruce trap doors and have one placed in front and one placed on top of that upside down stair one spruce slab and then one full block or two slabs the slabs are sometimes just a little bit easier but coming off of this block here we'll have another upside down spruce stair on either of those sides spruce trap door in the middle another two on top of those with a single slab in the center Coming round to the back of the build, we're just going to place in five white terracotta either side of this pillar just to make the next step a little bit easier. So we can place an upside down spruce stair on the top of that white terracotta, a regular one coming out the back of it with three slabs going across the top, just like that. We can then do a similar thing to what we have over here on these two pillars. So upside down one with a regular one coming out the back on both of those two. Make sure they're actually facing inwards, not outwards as I I just placed there but we can have a spruce trap door in front and on top and then very simply we'll just stick a slab here and leave that block open for now so the back should be looking like this as for the remaining sides we're going to have two upside down spruce stairs on the top part of those pillars again two spruce trap doors in front and on top one spruce slab then a full block or a couple of slabs whatever you're using with one final slab in the center so the side should look like this we can copy it around to this one too For this next part of the roof, I'm going to recommend you bring along some temporary blocks just so it makes placing the blocks a little bit easier. So we're going to start off facing the front of the house where we want our doorway to go and we're going to place a temporary block right here and a spruce slab up half a block from that original slab. We can then go ahead and have a spruce trap door followed by another slab. So that is what we need to do for the front. We'll swing around and do the back now. So we're going to have a spruce stair this time on top of that pillar block spruce slab on the same level coming out by one we'll have a spruce trap door after that followed by a spruce slab as for the two sides around here the left and the right will begin with a spruce trap door just on that block there switch to a spruce slab and then we'll go up half a block to another slab once again followed by one final slab so that is what we need to do for the other side as well around here 
that was a little bit of a messy way of doing it but as you can see we should end up with something like this so just to run over it again this is what we need for the front this is what we need for the back and then this is what we need for the two sides as for filling in the rest of the roof, we're just going to be using oak slabs here. And as you can see, we kind of have four quarters. So one, two, three, and four. And this is what half of the roof looks like. So it might honestly be easier if you just take a look at this and then copy it on over to the opposite side too. So this is round the back and then the other side is round the front, of course, just to show you what we're actually looking at here. So if you want to just copy that over, go ahead and feel free to do that. But if not, I'll show you how to build it block for block so we'll start off round the back here just where we placed our white terracotta and we're going to have one on top of that spruce block pillar then we'll have one up by half a block either side of it just like that gonna need to do a lot of temporary block placing for this part but We'll have one next to this slab and then one next to this stair. So we should have something like this at the moment. We'll then have one on top of the white terracotta with two either side of it. Two either side of this slab with one, two, three curled round to the side to get something like this, which is of course the same as what we have over here. And then this final section is going to be the same as this one. So what we can do for this is once again one on top of the spruce pillar, another one going up by half a block and then two more on that top level right there. We'll also have one and two here, another two, and then one, two, three, with one more at the very top point. So the roof should look like this. Hopefully that's easy enough to follow along with. And of course, the final thing to do is to place a spruce slab just at the very top point in the center, just half a block up from the other slab surrounding it. Now we're ready to fill in all of these four sides and we may as well start round the back here since we already have some white terracotta placed down and the first thing we could do is actually step inside here and place five white terracotta coming off the back of that block. We'll have two at the bottom, leave a gap of two here for some windows and then just fill in the rest so you can't see through except from that gap right there and we can just do the same on this side as well so placing blocks like that so we have those two gaps open for some glass panes to be placed down in between make sure you actually click right and not like I am all over the place but then in the very center here we can grab a brick wall and place that just in front of the spruce pillar with one two three and four oak fences with two either side underneath these two fences we can hang a couple of lanterns and then we can grab our oak stairs and place two just next of these trap doors here so we should be looking like this at the moment and then we can get some spruce trap doors and on the left hand side we'll just have two of them as some shutters we can also go ahead and place a scaffolding block right here and round this side we'll have one and two upside down oak stairs we can then grab a brown banner maybe some sort of leather hanging out to dry round the back of the house here and then very simply flower pots in front of the two windows with something to go inside as for the front of the house, just for now we're going to go ahead and fill all of it in with white terracotta. And of course not forgetting these two blocks at the top, just behind the upside down spruce stairs. But once we got all of that filled in, we're then going to knock some holes out for the doors and the window. So the doorway is going to go in these three blocks right here. That's where we can place our spruce door, just back a block like that with a spruce stair upside down above it. Just left of this far right pillar, we'll take out those two blocks and replace them with glass panes and then these two in the center of the white terracotta can also be taken out. Next thing up, we'll grab our brick wall and just in front of this white terracotta, one block in between, so on this one right here, we'll place a brick wall, leave a gap of two and do the same over here in front of this white terracotta block. Next up, grab your spruce fences and have two on top of both of those and then we're just going to have eight campfires which we can then proceed to extinguish with our shovel or water or whatever you got on hand just so they're not a bunch of flames being produced and then we're just going to line the bottom where we can with spruce trap doors. Obviously we won't be able to place them on those blocks but that's okay, just fill the rest in with those six trap doors. 
Next up, we're going to grab an oak fence and have one just above this glass pane here with a lantern hanging down from below. You can also exchange this out for a chain if you would rather, but once you got that done, we're then just going to make ourselves a little bit of a barrel stack. And as I always say in the series, just be careful with barrels if you're looking to move some villagers into these houses, as this is the fisherman's workstation, and you don't want them taking this instead of the cauldron as the leather worker, for example. So maybe replace these with note blocks or something else, for example. But yeah, once we've got that done, we can then dig down by one block and actually place a lever here with a piston coming outwards as a little bit of a table. If you wanted to, you can also replace that block here with some white terracotta. But on top of this one, we're just going to have ourselves an item frame with a leather piece inside. And then moving ever so slightly to the right, just left of our doorway, we're going to have a scaffolding piece with a flower pot on top. And then we can have an upside down oak stair with two trap doors, the oak variant on either side of those. We're then going to have two oak fence gates and open them up just like that where we can have two spruce trap doors as some shutters. So the front of the house should be looking like this. Swinging on round to the right hand side here, we're going to go ahead and have five white terracotta blocks at the bottom. We'll have three more on either of the two sides with four in the center reaching the very top just like that with one more block either side, leaving these two blocks open, four actually I guess it would be, where we can place some glass panes down. Next up, we can grab a spruce button and place them above the glass panes with brick stairs, one, two, and three upside down with two brick slabs in the middle just to make this nice platform where we can have two oak fences, one on either side with two in the very center where on top of these, we can place a miniature roof of sorts using oak slabs going all the way up and then back down again. So we get something like this. And then of course, we're just gonna place a couple of flower pots in front of the windows. As for the final side round here, the left part of the building, I've already gone ahead and filled in all of the white terracotta, but we can go ahead and break out these two blocks just right of our left pillar over here, leave two blocks of gap and get rid of these two as well, and then this one at the very center, where we can place an oak trapdoor folded inwards like that, and these two can become glass panes. We're then going to stick a grass block on top of this one right here and surround it with oak trapdoors just like that and stick a flower pot on top like so. Next up, grab your oak stairs and slabs and we're going to place two upside down ones with a slab in the center. Two spruce fences with one, two and three oak slabs to go there. And finally, we'll have a lantern followed by two spruce trap doors. So the left hand side of the build looks like this. So that right there is the exterior of the leather workers house all done. We're now ready to head inside and start work on the interior. The first thing we're going to do inside of this very empty house is actually come to the pillar just to the right hand side of our doorway here. This fifth block at the top here, we're going to have one, two, three, four, and five horizontal strip spruce logs reaching across to the other side. Just leave that one for now. We're actually going to cover this up so it doesn't really matter all that much, but this block here, just above the trap door, we're going to have three going across and then continuing so we intersect those pillars where in this very center we can have four strip spruce logs going all the way down to the bottom. Then if we just line ourselves up with the doorway here, so we've just walked into the house, we'll leave these two blocks open and place another line of horizontal or vertical, I should say, strip spruce logs, and then we'll do the same around here, one block in between those two. So we should have something like this, and all we're really doing here is just making a nice little room for our villager to sleep in. It's a bit cramped, two by three isn't a massive room, but it'll be plenty enough for him. So on this one wide gap, we'll place an oak stair at the bottom with an upside down one at the top with two spruce fences just like that. We'll have an oak stair here with two oak trap doors as some windows. Flip them up. Oak stair at the top, two oak slabs or a full block if you have it on hand. An oak stair upside down with a spruce trap door or a spruce door, sorry, a full one <laughs> on that block right there. So there we go. It's enclosed off and this is going to be where the villager sleeps. The ceiling is actually super simple for this build. As you can see, we kind of have four sections right here. One, 
two, three, and then the fourth one is inside of the room. They're all identical, so all we really need to do is grab some upside down oak stairs and have one, two, three, and then the fourth one curled round to the side, where on the same level as the top part of that stair, we're going to have two oak slabs. So it should look like this. I'll do one more and you can copy the other two. So we'll have one, two, three, and then the fourth one curled round for the upside down oak stairs, two slabs in the center. So as you can see, should be looking like this we can do that two more times and there we go that is the ceiling all done as you can see that is much neater than it was before Next up, we can go ahead and remove all of these grass blocks and replace them with full brick blocks or brick slabs if you want to save on resources. Simple as that. And then we can actually come inside of this spruce door here and sort out the leather worker's bedroom. So first of all, we're going to give him a bed. I'm choosing brown because, well, he's a leather worker. Maybe it's made out of leather or something like that. But we can also have a chest at the end of the bed right there. Scaffolding just beside it with a lantern inside to light up this room so we don't have to worry about mob spawning. Just outside of the bedroom door we're going to place two spruce fences right there with two brown carpets on top and two brown banners on the side. Kind of looks like a saddle if you really squint and use your imagination. <laughs> Maybe this is the top part of the saddle and the sides are kind of draped over the edge of these fences here. Maybe firming up or something. I don't know how to make saddles, believe it or not. But what we can do then is turn around 180 degrees and place a cauldron in the corner here. This is the leather worker's workstation, so very important we actually have that in here. But we can have two upside down stone brick stairs just either side of it, a regular one on the left hand side with one curved round to the side upside down right here just like that of course go ahead and place a water in your cauldron itself and then in this window here just below it we're going to have a spruce slab two upside down stairs either side and then we're just going to place one trapdoor here on the top part of that white terracotta block and then another one here on the top part of this white terracotta block and all we really have left to do is place in the final finishing details, which really is just a bunch of random blocks that look like they could be doing something or help out the leather worker in some way. So we're going to place a wooden button here with a brown banner to the side kind of dipping in the water itself. On this white terracotta block, one below the trapdoor, or two I guess I should say really, one block gap in between, we'll place a tripwire hook. And then we'll come over to our table here, place a lever down on that block right there, item frame underneath the trapdoor with another piece of leather to go inside, lantern can go on top of that trapdoor with a flower pot on top of that one. And that right there is the interior all done to the leather worker's house. Meaning the house as a whole is fully complete. So I really hope you guys did enjoy this build. Thank you ever so much for watching and as always stay tuned for the next one where I will see you again. Bye for now.